Okay, we've now got the mayor at, in Hanover, uh, who, who, who's back with me. Mr. Mayor, are you with me? Uh, yeah, I can hear you. Hello. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, so we're just, again, this idea of... I suppose this it, it, it is a question that everybody now has to be prepared for significant sacrifice, particularly if you look at Germany and the need to get the level of oil imports from Russia down by nearly as much again as has already fallen. I mean, we see that uh, Germany has a special situation due to the dependence on, on Russian gas. So that means we have a special responsibility. We need to prepare ourselves for the winter. That means we have to save energy right now. That's what we are doing in Hanover. You already meant, like you already mentioned, we turn off the lights for monumental buildings. We uh, use just cold water for swimming pools and showers in the gym and the sports halls. We will prepare ourselves for the winter and have like midterm or long-term um, measures for the winter, just heating up to maximum 20 degrees. And that means every kilowatt hour counts to prepare ourselves for the, for the winter. What's the most you can do, do you think? Because at the end of the day, if we look at Germany's requirement for this, to, to, to reduce capacity of oil from Russia, how much more can you do? I mean, we see that these measures, these limitations are quite heavy. I mean, it's okay for the summer. We have like 30 degrees at the moment. It's not that problem to take a cold shower or to go to the swimming pool with cold water. But when it comes to the winter, I mean, I'm quite afraid of having a social shift maybe. And so I think we need to prepare ourselves the best way possible to save energy as much as possible within the European Union as well to... Yeah, as, a, as an act of, of solidarity with the other European country, countries and also as an um, act of solidarity with the people in the Ukraine. I mean, um, Kiev is just two hours flight distance from, from Hanover. There's a war go on, going on in the middle of Europe, and that means we have to uh, share solidarity and show what we can. And in this idea of cutting Russian oil. I suppose the, the lesson we've learned is that post Crimea, a lot should have, a lot more should have been done. And I'm guessing for policymakers like you, you never want to find yourself in this sort of situation again. Um, I think we, we should change our energy policies. The situation we are now facing as Germany is uh, uh, the, the result of 20 years of a lot of mit mistakes in energy policy. That means we, we have to invest much more in renewable energy. We have to cut off Russian gas. And that means we have to prepare ourselves for the next two winters. It's not this year, actually. The next year will also be a problem because we to get independent from Russian gas will take at least two years to, to uh, invest as much as possible in LNG terminals and other renewable energies. Right. So I think this is a way for Germany to, to uh, uh, a very hard, uh, hard time for us. Right. I, I, one area I just want to quickly ask you about, uh, obviously the inflation that's now in Europe at the moment, for somebody like yourself who has to run city services, who has to balance the procurement of everything from salt for the roads to things in schools, to, to the wages for city employees. It's going to be a very difficult 12 months to balance your books. Absolutely. I mean, like I mentioned, I think these limitations during the summer is not that hard, is not that problem. But when it comes to a winter and the heat costs explode and we have a high price risk, actually, we are facing for the winter and the inflation is also going high. So, I mean, that that's that's a very explosive mixture for social shifts and for social problems also in Germany and the whole European Union. I mean, that's why we have to prepare and save energy right now to, to face this problem. And on the other hand, we need also help and invest from the federal governments and from the European Union, like we had, like, for example, in the during the corona pandemic, when companies, when different social um, agencies mm. got help from the European Union directly. Mr. Mayor, grateful, sir. The Mayor of Hanover joining me live tonight from Hanover.